Hey, welcome back to the scale model experiment. This week, we're going to make some windows and some headlights and taillights. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. If you have any comments or suggestions for me on how to better improve my process, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd leave me a comment below. Since printing clear parts is kind of a pain in the butt, I grabbed every headlight and taillight that um, I was working on for several projects or anything that I might be working on in the near future. So here's all the headlights and taillights all on one sheet and then sliced it and it's going to take two hours to print. Okay, so I drained all of the great resin out of the tank, cleaned it up with alcohol. And now I'm going to put water wash resin clear into the tank. Give it a shake. Let's do what we have here. Look at that. This time I'm going to wash them in a bucket. You can tell after washing that the uh, translucence is coming out of them now. And you can see the, uh, the layer lines and the parts. I'm going to have to take all of these off of the trees and then I can cure them all. So here's the clear printed pieces and as you can see they're less than clear anymore after you wash and cure them but when I when it comes time to use these pieces what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a alligator clip on them and I'm gonna dip them into some clear probably x22 a tummy some Tamiya acrylic clear and it'll clear them right up and make them see through again. But here's all of the clear pieces that I printed. So I'm set for the next uh, couple projects. All right, so the first order of business in making vacuum formed glass is to make bucks. Now, a, one of the viewers, one of you viewers out there made these two bucks for me. What I did is I put supports, I laid the, the window flat and then I put supports like every one millimeter apart with heavies. So it's a big thick base underneath the window which should hold it in place very strong. So these two windows, this is the front and back window for the unicorn and I did the same in, uh, in my way. So here are the bucks that I printed for thermoforming windows. This is for our Mustang. So we got uh, the windows and it's the, the shape like this. So this is the first step in vacuum forming. But what the next step we have to do is we have to polish out all of the, the little lines out of all of this. It has to be 100% smooth or when you pull the plastic over top of it, you'll see all the lines. So I have a little polishing to do. But I'm also gonna try this version as well. And I'll polish this one as well. But it's uh, just a little different theory. Same window, but just a different theory. So we'll try both ways. I also printed, this is the Aston Martin Valor. I painted the body and uh, I just need to make some windows. So this is my windshield. Here's my side windows. I'll do the same for those. This one is the 
back window and side windows for this tune version of a Nissan Skyline R32. And then this last one is for a tune version of a Miata. So it's got uh, the little wing windows in the windshield. So I'll try that too. All right, so these are our bucks for the windows. As you can see, I have some lines to get rid of. So I'm gonna take some 320 grit because I just wanna knock the top surface off and I'm gonna lightly wet sand. Okay, so now these are 320 grit smooth and I will start with a 4,000 grit sanding sponge and keep them 4,000 grit smooth and then I'll move on to 6,000 and 8,000 to finish it off. All right so here they are after polishing with 8,000 grit you can actually almost see the shine starting to come through but there are some deep scratches from the, the, uh, the original grit that I used. I don't know if this is going to make a difference in the final window so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it, um, pull a pull a window over it. If I can see scratches in it, then I will go back and I'll polish this to, you know, like glass. All right, so this is the VacuForm machine. I've gone ahead and I turned on the heater and we're outside because this thing stinks like hell. I don't want that in the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise this up and we're going to put our plastic sheet in here. All right, so there's a protective sheet on each side of this. I can smell that thing heating up. So this is 0 0.02 PET sheet. And I'm going to load it in the machine here. Clamp it down. And then I'm going to raise this up to the heating element to heat up the plastic. In the meantime, I'm going to place our buck underneath the vacuum chamber. And so I'm going to keep an eye on this plastic and I'm told to wait until it's wavy. I don't know how long that's going to take. Okay, it looks like it's bubbling. Hmm. And that's attempt number one. See how it uh, got ruined over in the corner? Let's try another one. I got a better one this time. It stuck right to it. Hmm. It really sucked down on it. Hmm. Oh boy. I hope I can get this out. Because the window is really good. <laughs> Their window is really good on this one.
Yeah, I think I over overheated it or something on that one. And I broke my mold right in the corner. Damn it. So this one might be the last good one. The only good one. All right, so when I was pulling it out of the mold, I broke the corner of my back windshield. So front windshield is still fine, but back windshield, that's, that's done for. So I was able to pull two molds off. This one, I, I don't know if I can clean it up, polish it, but it, it doesn't look too bad. At least it's the right shape. And then the first one, I see a bunch of bubbles in it which means that I think that the thing was too hot. So I'll print some more of these, these bucks and uh, try it again. All right, so I trimmed the windshield and I'm gonna use some Novus One and see if I can't make these, get these stains out of it. See the, the stains? And then looking at these, these are still kind of pimply. So I'm a little disappointed that I didn't, you know, succeed in the first try. But, you know, this is the scale model experiment. I try new things and fail sometimes. So I did learn some things today, um, but... Uh, Practice makes perfect, right? So um, if you have any suggestions for me on how to better vacuum form parts, I'd greatly appreciate it. In the meantime, I'll keep playing with the vacuum former. I'll print some new bucks and uh, try it again. So I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, until then, bye. You still here? Go ahead and order yourself a t-shirt. Hit the subscribe button and watch the next video.